Hey everyone, Nisha Menon here, Director of Nikasu Foods and founder of Jack and Chill. When you are setting up your business, the most crucial question that's the backbone of your business is how do I find the right product for my business? Because for a business to be successful, it has to be the right product to the right customer in the right market at the right time. So that's exactly why I'm going to show you how to choose the right product for your business. Make sure you stay till the end because I'll be showing you a few websites which will help you in doing your research when you're choosing your product as well. So let's begin. So first, let's go through the list of things you need to consider when you are deciding your product. First and foremost, is there a gap in the market? Which means, is there an opportunity that's not readily available in the market? The biggest example is Netflix for that because they have changed their business model to fill the gaps over the years. Initially, they started off as a male DVD rental service. Then they changed into a monthly subscription model. And now it's an online streaming model. So that's how they have changed according to the gaps they see over these years. So how do you find these opportunities or uh, the gaps? You monitor what is trending in the market. And how do you see what is trending? You see the industry magazines or you go to social media. You even go to your local shops. You speak to your friends and family. You speak to your peers, your colleagues. You see what people are talking about. So what is new that you can see around you? So that's one method how you can see what is trending in the market. A few examples of uh, trend that is going on can be these days. It can be the on the go health conscious food or uh, plant-based products as you know it's all getting into the healthy plant-based option these days then you've got eco-friendly or reusable products like uh, it can be shopping bags because you don't have to carry those disposable bags they say so it is all reusable type of shopping bags going on other trends can be seasonal products if it is winter season then you have your winter gloves mittens caps coats you know those kind of trends if it is summer then you've got your summer clothing then summer food like uh, mangoes or any other tropical foods that can be the trend in those uh, seasons so that are the seasonal products or it can be depending on some products like if you have a new iPhone that's launched then you know you can have a business with uh, selling those iPhone cases or iPhone accessories or any of the new phone accessories so this is how you see what is a trend going on and accordingly you can mold what the product you are selling as well next is you find the pain point of your customer or it can be a pain point of yourself as well so that's why you look at yourself is it is there something that there is a need in the market that people does not have you know which people are not happy about or um, what you can see is you can even speak to your friends and family example if I say is we launched our Jack and Chill uh, brand last year it's an exclusive plant-based brand made with jackfruit products because there was not much of vegan or vegetarian options available in the market if it was available it was highly processed but as I wanted to keep it natural ingredients and less processed so that people can enjoy the products in their own taste you know next Next is you monitor your competitors you know so you what you do is you actually uh, follow competitors on social media you see on the shops you go everywhere and see who are your competitors what are they doing what kind of products do they have and to find the gap you need to see what are they not doing right so only then you can find what you can do instead of that you know and then you have to decide what are the two to three things that makes my products superior or my products different from those products and that's how you decide on your USP as well. Another way is by recreating or tweaking an existing product because that would be maybe the most cost effective way you could do as well but you have to be a bit innovative you know example if you say samosas samosas has been in the market for ages decades actually but these days you see you've got different variants of samosas which is pizza samosa noodle filled samosa chocolate samosa sweet samosas you know in different shapes and forms what are they doing there they're just being a bit innovative and bringing in new shapes and flavors to the existing product so that's how you recreate an existing product so when you're deciding your product main thing is how is your product going to be positioned so accordingly you need to do your marketing as well so you need to understand what is your product positioning like say the example of uh, iPhones or Apple products 
why are the customers loyal to these apple products they bring innovation and their features is what brings these iphone customers loyal they love what iphone does they don't bother about the cost or the product the price that's how you position your product and you market your product accordingly you also want to make sure that um, your market is big enough because if your market is not big enough and if it's too niche then you will not have a sustainable business you should have an easily identifiable customer base because what you have to see is is your product going to be a one off product where you're just doing a uh, sales uh, you know buying it from a garage sales or and then just uh, flipping the product off or is it going to be a long term product where you're going to keep it on for 4 uh, to 5 years or 10 years where you're going to manufacture it and then sell it on so these are things that you need to decide as well next thing is you need to understand where are you going to sell these products are they all going to be online sales or are they going to be through a third party uh, you know platform which is like amazon ebay etsy or any of those places or are you going to be importing them and then selling it to the end customer and then the final and the most important thing i would say is are you passionate about these products or do you love selling these products if you if you are not confident or if you are not trusting your own products then others will not buy your products others will not trust you when they are buying your products so that is very very important that you are passionate or you love the products that you sell if you don't like it then there's no point in selling these products if you have decided on your products do let me know in the comments below it'll be good to see the different variations that we have here now let's look at look at the places where you can do your research while deciding your products so first is you know you go into your local uh, area you walk around your surroundings you go to your local store you go to the supermarkets or even uh, you know the restaurants and the shops wherever you are going you basically keep an eye open and see what are the opportunities that is available there so you see what is a trend going on even if you're going to restaurants you know you can see what are the products that they offer in their menu is that something that i could add to their menu is that something that i could supply to their menu you go to the shops you see the aisles and see what is that i can press supply there next is you go to amazon so now we have come on to um, amazon so you can either go to amazon.co.uk or uh, amazon.com in the home page itself you will see there are these couple of headings which is best sellers and today's deals which is what we'll be having a look at and if you just go towards the bottom you will also see another uh, heading called top startup products this month so this will be quite interesting to check out what are the new startup products you can see as well as you go towards the bottom you will see other categories as well so let's go and check out um, the best sellers because that will show us what are the best sellers on amazon and as you can see there are different departments on that if we go and see on uh, clothing so it will bring the amazon best sellers on clothing according to the ranking as well then you come here and then you'll see what are the hot new releases in clothing movers and shakers in clothing what are the most wished for in clothing and what you can also see is you can see the prices and how they are rated as well so if it's a good selling product and then what the price range so this will give you an idea of your product positioning which we discussed earlier as well so the next website is uh, ebay so we go on to ebay.com or ebay.co.uk again now we have come on to ebay.co.uk uk okay. here again you can have a browse around and see there are different headings find what you need so these will be the set of uh, products that you can have a look fresh deals this way today's deal so this will be the popular items which you can have a look at on this website as well and even at the top you will see the daily deals you know so this will give you an idea the next one is etsy which is etsy.com so now we have come on to etsy in etsy the important place you need to see is what is popular right now so this is the heading that you need to see here here again you can see what are the different products and what are the pricing and how they are selling as well so this will give you a great idea of product positioning again the next website is aliexpress which is a b2c website again and uh, so that is aliexpress.com i leave all these link in the uh, description below so you can have a look at it later on we are on aliexpress now so here you can see there are uh, different see you can see there is flash deals as you go at the bottom again you've got the flash deals and the products and the prices there as well couple of other headings which is uh, top ranking products top selection new arrivals so this will give you a great idea again of what the products that are selling on this website are and the place where you can check out is called aliexpress forward slash popular this is aliexpress.com forward slash popular this will give you the whole list of popular products in each category as you can see there are different categories here and 
then you can see a huge range of products which is popular in each category and this will give you a great idea of a lot of products that you can sell in your business the next one is alibaba.com which is a b2b website and mainly you go to this website to find out suppliers or manufacturers or even to get an idea of what the wholesale price is or um, even to see what the minimum order quantity is so i have mentioned about this minimum order quantity and pricing and everything in my importing video which i have made a couple of weeks earlier you can have a look at that if you need to know the entire list of what are things you need to plan when you are importing your goods so now i have come to alibaba.com here you can see again there are different headings new arrivals global original sources customized products ready to ship products you go towards the bottom and you will see there are different sections in which they will even show you the top sales the top ranking products in us in each of these category if you come a bit more towards the bottom you can see that you can choose your suppliers by region you've got india usa italy so if you want to go to india it has taken you to the website where you can see the products that comes from india so you can see the different categories here as well and uh, let's say if we are importing rice so now it has brought me to the page of rice manufacturers so and then you can see the supply location is india and uh, you can see the different type of rice and what is the cost per ton here and what is the minimum order you've got the address of all these uh, manufacturers as well so this will again give you an idea of the wholesale price and what the minimum order is with these manufacturers or suppliers one thing which you have to keep in mind when you are contacting these manufacturers or suppliers online is that you have to do your own due diligence of these manufacturers because you have to find out if they are genuine suppliers or not so that's something which is very very important so that is what you can see on alibaba.com hope you found this video useful if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to my video so that you don't miss out on any future topics or the future videos i upload thank you bye bye